Today we're here to show you how to properly wind a bobbin. Many machine tension issues or not pretty stitching is due to a wonky or ill wound bobbin. So today Heather's going to show you how she achieves the perfect bobbin. very important she threaded around this little button that provides the tension on your bobbin thread when winding so it's very important to hear that click and get it under there sometimes we're quick and we just think we're in there when we're really not Make sure you push your bobbin down all the way so that you don't get any bobbin winding underneath the bobbin. A medium to low speed is preferred so that we don't have any hiccups in our thread. see how we did. Perfect. It's a nice, tight, firm bobbin. Now, what if we have a loosely wound bobbin that's kind of sloppy? Well, we don't have to waste the thread. See how that's spongy? She can push on it. That means there wasn't proper tension. So now we're going to pretend that little bobbin is our spool of thread and we're going to wind another bobbin off of that one and we will not then waste any thread. And as long as you use a spool cap, your bobbin will sit there nicely. Almost done. Let's see how we do. Perfect again. So we hope this helps. When you're in a pinch, just watch our video on how to wind the perfect bobbin. Happy sewing, happy day.